every single country of Europe says we will de deliver the weapons to you, just give us money and orders and we will build a factory. This is what Germans are saying, this is what French are saying, Italians and also Poles. Everyone wants to build tanks and so on, but the actual products will be delivered or rolled out of the factory lines in two, three years. So question whether it's uh, relevant at well, that time. Well, the answer is that we, you know, clearly we don't have two or three years. We've got to be providing the equipment now and for the next immediate future to Ukraine. But also, we've got to recognize we've got to prepare for the worst case, which is why I say that you can't do it according to the normal rules of economic planning. You've got to apply a wartime mentality to this yep. and recognize we're in, a, we're in a different world. And this means intervention by the state in a way which has not happened. And also the financial requirements. Um, if you look at the acts of Polish government since, say, the fall of 2021, when we already knew that uh, Russians are up to something and the, the British, German, Polish intelligence knew pretty well what they are trying to do. Um, what grade would you, how would you assess the actions of the Polish government? I, I'm not going to mark, mark Poland. Suffice it to say that Poland is a leader in, among European NATO states because of the investment it is putting into defence. Uh, Plus of, a, plus of 300 M1A1 Abrams ordered. Over 200 155 millimeter Hyatt K9 from South Korea. That's a real a thousands sign. Thousands of K2 tanks, 180 uh, uh, made in Korea uh, and 880 made here in Poznan. Uh, uh, and the rest of it. This is a sign of real determination by Poland. Uh, but what I would counsel is that this is the application of traditional capability, but at the same time, Poland, I'm sure it is, will be thinking about the data-driven battle, the drones, the cyber, the technical, the high-tech stuff, because ultimately, deter deterrence of Russia and defeat of Russia for Ukraine is going to require that state-of-the-art technical edge which the West, which NATO has got. Yep. And we should all be studying really carefully how Ukraine is operating and, and reforming how, our own armies to do the and same. And also how Russia is operating. They obviously have the slaves from prisons driven to the war, but also they are learning from the experience and the next possible war with Russia will not be with Russia that, for example, has no night vision in their tanks, in their, in their soldiers' gear. Precisely. I mean, of course, and this is a constant. You have to be studying your potential adversary. And Russia is a, yes, it has been unbelievably militarily incompetent, unbelievably brutal, but Russians are smart. Russia, you know, Russian software designers are, are, are very, very capable indeed. And Russia will be learning the lessons of, of this war. Uh, and, but, so this places a premium on, on the West and on NATO staying ahead of the game.